now we're gonna go into something else that I got here that you really can't get in a store this is a Polaris popper same thing the only thing is I make them or I carry them they're hard to find we're gonna do the same thing here real fast with scissors let me get a longer knife on there or scissors and I'm cutting this one oh well I'll do it on this one I was gonna show you how to make nice little see this is a six out happens to be eagle claw chemically sharpened all of them pretty much good unless you get the special uh, cuts on the points they're all sharp enough there this one is forged I like forged for big game it's all sharp enough to uh, cut your thread and stick you. I always wear glasses when working with hooks and casting. You can actually glue this one right to it. You want to use hot melt glue and you might want to warm that up just a little bit with uh, you don't need any thread. Don't put thread on it. You might want to warm that up just a little bit with your variable temp heat gun and you want to get over one of those slick something slick pad because it would drip and then you take put the glue right on here and then a little bit of glue on there and hold it and just turn it around you, that's why you do it there on the bench and just let her sit there for a little bit and that hot melt glue that's melting out about oh I think the glue gun say about 320 degrees or something like that compared to low melt which is oh about 200 205 degrees about 100 degree difference but it holds pretty good on there and holds almost as good as epoxy for this one here let's see we're gonna do this one up you can use fresh water hooks you don't have to use uh, regular kink popper hooks and you can if you want you can use a longer shank on these matter of fact this one here I'll show you how to if you don't even want to finish them that foam really doesn't suck up a whole lot of water I'll show you how you can put this on there without having to go through the last one and, Poppers 101. I'll make this Poppers 102. Where you don't even have to coat it all up with that Mod Podge mixture and all that stuff or lacquer or whatever. Now you kind of want to let that set up just a little bit. And we're going to make this one, since this one's green and purple, we're going to get a little fluorescent chartreuse new fly time material in there, nuclear emission wing mixed in with patent pendant blend of course all colors have patent in, in the patent application but here again we're just gonna do the, all these up like this normally you do that over one of those little trays watch the other videos or buy the DVD ROM help support troops la -de da la -de da two ways you can do that you can do that this way you can also get a little bit of hair under here you can get some feathers I just don't have a whole bunch of that out right now and I don't feel like digging it out four five six wind it back just a little bit get a couple on your hook shank like you normally do for anything keep it from spinning take that whole mess over like that get a couple of those on there what I do have out is a little bit of this green Polaris hair let me change that backdrop a little bit all I got is a olive foam and a yellow foam. You can get those. A little 777. You can cut up and make bodies. Get those down craft stores such as there again, Walmart. And you can get them at uh, Michael's other craft stores. That's the only one we have up here in Alaska. I know there's more opportunities down there in America. Alrighty, zoom you out there. You can see how far back that's going. Still got a little super glue holding my finger. 
Now, I'm not going to run that up on that body. Then you can get some more flash on there, such as holographic new or whatever you want to put on there. This one here, I happen to have fluorescent shot truce saddle hackle out. And if you're going to be doing a lot of things in the salt water, don't want your hackles to fade. I do know from talking to the owner there that um, there's one hackle company, you see them in all the stores, they put an extra treatment after they die on their hackles that the big boys haven't figured out, help keep them from fading. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and put two on each side of this because I might just want to try it with Pike one day. Yeah, that's right, that hook will work for Pike. You can make multi-purpose flies. I used to have carry a vest around. When I was living in Juneau, I'd go from salt water to fresh water. My back would be killing me at the end of the day carrying those heavy aluminum boxes with weighted flies, unweighted flies. Yeah, it's back in the 90s there and I started designing multi-purpose flies. Get them about the same size. Should have trimmed that little hackle off, but this one's for me and I know it ain't going nowhere here as soon as I put this hot melt glue to it. Now this triangular one, you really can't glue on top. You probably could if you was to cut this off. And I'm gonna finish that off. Made a mistake the other day and said chartreuse new when I had lime green out. This is lime green nuclear mission wing. Now if you go to heat treating any of this, watch the other videos, same thing, I straightened them a half out. Get that in like this. This is going to be flashy. Even though it's sitting on the water, it's going to be going underwater. And that's when the fish see the flash. Oop. Computer malfunction with my back screen. Alright, I got that right there. And a hand whip finish that sucker. And, like I said, you can coat this off in the last video using a little mixture of Mod Podge and all that stuff. It kind of makes it up like a water-based head lacquer. Watch Poppers 101, then you can coat it off with whatever color of that you want on there. Or you can spray it with some lacquer and then spray it, shake that on. Use a nice little tray underneath there and you can recover most of that, get it back in the salt shaker. This one here, all I'm going to do, well, first I'm going to put a little heat treatment on that. Get that stuff. A little iridesced. Good thing I checked my gun because I had it up to four and a half for some pearl curl for another video. Since it's back a little bit and I'm not able to get all the way in there, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit more than normal. Always. When working with nuclear emission wing, pearl curl, check your variable temp heat gun with a couple samples. There we got that right there. Now, this should be, if you're familiar with heat guns, you get these from Walmart. The pink one is not just for girls and sissy boys, that's the hot. This one happens to be a low melt because I'm doing it over my bench here instead of taking it off like I normally do and do it over a slip pad or a piece of formica top and you're gonna see right there turn it over and just